And you know, we've been we've been building up a lot of those um, things to read. And it's been a minute. So let's, uh, let's take a little bit to do a little bit of oration. Uh, cares about the enemies. Ah. The astral knot. <laughs> so, I know, I know it's, you know, astronaut, you know, space explorer, astral knot, astral plane explorer, but just. <laughs> yeah, it's just so silly. Anyway. Um, <clears throat> this report serves as an introductory guide to the Austral Knot program, including candidate requirements, training practices, and astral research procedures. Astronauts are chosen individuals who explore and document the astral plane by making physical contact with the X-ray light box, C, C case file, OOP 18 for details, in the hypnosis lab, a six section of the parapsychology division. Physical and psychological training is vital for the repeated transition between planes, known as dives. After each dive, astronauts must undergo a... probably like a... therapy session of some kind? Something session? Of the cognitive recording chairs to record the experience in the plane. Gather data as conclusive would proven that blank blank within the astral plane is very widely between a astronauts. On rare occasions, these dives can trigger in losses, often occurring when teams encounter aggressive astral entities. You know, when I'm thinking full dive, I'm thinking we're diving into video games, but I mean, maybe we're just, uh, maybe full dive VR technology is diving into the astral plane. From the hit game Amstral Knots? Ah! Fine, fine, I'll hydrate, I'll hydrate. Good thing I now have a giant half gallon jug. So we will not have a repeat of the glass incident again. You know, it's funny that it talks about hypnosis because, um, yeah, I was trying to do a quick, like, noir thing, and I'm like, well, I gotta grab my confidor or something. I'm not sure I like this exact angle, but I'm not going to put too much effort into a bit <laughs> like this. <laughs> but um, they mentioned the hypnosis, and it's it's weird because I am uh, a podcast I listen to uh, behind the bastards are covering um, the one I'm the part I'm going over is when they covered the whole CIA MK Ultra. Um, yikesness, and um, they tried some very wild shit to include, like you know, hypnosis and all that stuff. That doesn't like. There's there is a kind of hypnosis that sort of works, but it's more like suggestion. It's not getting you to like cluck like a chicken and run around on shit like that. And, like, with hypnosis, it's also, there needs to be an element of, like, you kind of need to buy into it for it to work. Like, you need to believe that it's going to help you, or you need to believe that it's going to do anything for it to have that kind of suggestiveness. Um, and they had fun things, like, hey, we're going to pay college kids money, and... We're going to give them um, various hard drugs like cocaine or heroin to test whether they will, whether we can use them as like a truth serum. Um, spoilers? No, that no, that's not how that works. You know what does work, and what they fucking found out and didn't listen to giving people fuck tons of money it's called bribing them that's how you get people to tell you secrets you just give them money <laughs> you don't need to make this complicated guys let's see with the recent let's see threshold kids oh this is that really creepy fucking cartoon that we saw 
glaring gaps in the brewer's ability to educate and raise young, probably like agents. There's no other blank for blank to play with, and blank is expected to learn about a frightening new concepts. Solution. Blank will require a slow, child-friendly introduction to paranatural topics. With this in mind, allow me to introduce you The Threshold Kids, a television show in which a cast of cheerful puppets explain the dangers of living at the Bureau, but also show the fun side of the parent. Okay. The first one that we found was about one of them's parents being dead. That wasn't fun or cheerful. It was just sad. <laughs> Budget will be minimal. I took a few puppet making courses at my local community center. We can have research staff build the sets, record the footage, and even do the voices. It will be good for morale, and I guarantee Blank will respond positively to these videos. You can't expect a Blank to enjoy lectures and people in lab get probably children or a child. But as children as as television has proven for years, Blank love puppets. The Astral Exhibition was originally built for the astronauts to use as a training location, a place to grow accustomed to the sights and sounds of the astral plane before diving into the real thing. We could have done a better job with it, but Blank was being stingy with the budget. However, once we discovered the Blank, we decided to repurpose the space. Similar to how zoos hope familiar soundings will affect the well-being of their animals, we hope to observe the Blank's behavior in an environment similar to its home dimension. So far, it just breaks everything we put in it. But Rome wasn't built in a day. Addendum. New naming conventions have been established for the astral entity, now known as Astral Spike. Outdated terms in this report have been redacted. Oh, this was probably from the thing that we contained. The sort of like, hey, I'm going to fuck you up. Huh, let's see. I feel like we're going to get a lot of collectibles. I don't want to spend too much time reading. I wonder if there's any interesting ones. Resonance theory. Resonance is there. Vibrates around us, through us, and from us. But what if the vibration is conscious? So what is this, like, string theory, but it's sapient? Hmm. Ooh, the safe. The object is a guardhouse brand home safe. Weight measurements vary. When bound, the object allows para-utilitarians to telekinetically gather items and debris from their surroundings. Discovered in the basement of a home in Ohio, the object gained rapid interest in certain online forums dedicated to opening abandoned safes. I remember that being really big for a while. I think because people kept finding, like, there was a couple incidences of people finding safes in their walls that went viral and people were like what's in the safe we gotta crack it open after months of failure the owner attempted to open it with explosives the object survived with no visible damage bureau agents were dispatched now confident of its paranatural nature blood occasionally emerges from the seam around the object's door oh okay test confirmed blood is not human fantastic that's great X-rays taken of the object indicate that something is trapped inside, though the images are always blurred, which indicates the contents of the object are moving. Attempts to open the object have been up. Don't open it! Why do you have... It's obviously sealing something away. What the fuck? Plant complaint? Hey, so I was just wondering about the plants in research. Is it really necessary to sing to them? I mean, the janitor does have a nice voice and the plants sure seem to like it. Maybe you could just switch it up a bit? Get a little bit tired of the tango. And where did these plants even come from? No one seems to remember where they were when they were planted. And people like them a bit too much if you ask me. Are we being invaded by houseplants? It's worth looking into. I mean, invaded in so much you get one succulent and then all of a sudden you want to get another five. Which I do want to get some plants. 
One thing I do miss from having a bioactive vivarium for one of my snakes, um, so like with actual soil and plants and all that, um, is that nice, like, foresty, loamy smell. Really is nice um, to have in the house, in my opinion. Wait, we got an achievement for that? Is that like a special paper? Thank you for the file, it was very helpful. I re-archived it the Black Rock Research case, in case you need to put it again. Yes, the video shoots are always interesting, and I expect my availability for those use in the future. Uh, maybe it was just an achievement for, hey, you got 15 bits. So I'm... I really am not plugged into, like, the official SCPs. The only things I know of is the, like, granite statue thing that moves when you don't look at it, which I think was based off of the, um, the Doctor Who Angels thing, as well as the thing that has, like, a bunch of settings, like, fine or coarse, and then you can put different materials in and they come out very differently. Like if you put in a tree log and it was set to like very fine, you might get like sawdust or if it was set to like um, whatever the setting below course was, it would like come out as paper or something like that. Is there something in here? Am I missing something? So there's just that file up here? That's irritating. Oh well. That's what I get for not going the obvious way first. Pain elevators? Well no wonder the ride is a suffering. I think it's more just like they can be interesting creative writing exercises but I've never been too big of a like I don't really read fan fiction um I kind of like Altered story item oh. number 52 AE analysis session 2 I will begin by introducing various stimuli to the item first a low voltage electric shock No response. Next, I will introduce heat via a standard Bunsen burner. Is, is this on that rubber duck? No response. Next, a series of solutions will be applied, each with a different value on the pH scale from 0 to 14. No response to any value. Next, I will uh, attempt to communicate. Can you understand me? Can you understand my words? What? Quack, if you can understand <laughs> No response. This concludes session two. We'll need time to prepare further tests. Um, I was talking about. Uh, so like for, 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 fanfics. I don't know. I've... It's sort of like... It feels weird to me in that, like, you have... So an author builds this world. They have all these characters, and fanfiction a lot of times feels to me like someone else made this world. It, it just feels a little weird to, like, be taking those characters that they, they know, they understand, and, like, you're instead trying to puppet them around. 
Um, I would always, I've always been more of a fan of like, yes, be inspired, but make something that's your own. This way to the lab? I don't know. Okay. You must like oh, these HRAs. Me. Sounds like Darling built them. And most of the things around here. If Marshall can't help us with Dylan, he's our next best bet. All right, Assuming just talking he's to myself. Not dead. We're not. Or taken over. By the We're house. not crazy. You're crazy. Yeah. And I mean, everyone's got to practice writing somehow. Whenever, whenever you do writing, I'm certainly. Hardly the official stance on how all writing should be. Like, I can't... I, I took a stab at it at one time, sometime, and it's like, I can think of... I can think of the interesting big points, but I, I have a lot of problems when it comes to... like, trying to connect them. Interesting. So it seems like both the lines and the shading you of the hue matter. Any idea how to make it work? No, I'm. I am a bibliomaniac to some extent. Hello again, director. I just we consume have web serials. Get the HRA machine working. I've replaced a couple of spark plugs, but this looks a bit more complicated. Darling must have had a system. Randomness isn't in his nature. The punch cards, the symbols, the terminals. How do they connect? I'll see what I can do. Oh boy. Time for some puzzling! Let's try and... Ah, I see. Hmm. We got one, two. Probably need to go around and collect all the cards first. So we got one, two, five. Wait, what? So, oh, we there's need to find three. all the punch cards. What punch card am I missing? There's also a lot of, like, I don't know, it's weird. I, I have weird categories I've sorted my web heroes into. So, like, there's ones I read because I love them so much. So, like, Wild does stuff, Arata's, etc. stuff. Um, you know, those ones. Then I have ones that are like, yeah, they're okay. I don't mind following them. And then there's stuff that I don't like that I won't read. And then there's this weird category that it's like, I really dislike it, but I still read it because like it had good points or like it was good at one point. And it's like, I want to remind myself of like, hey, this is bad and I can by reading why this is bad, it helps me better articulate why other stuff is good. If that makes sense. It's like I'm... I find myself, like, the way I tend to think is very, like, I categorize Each things, and I have a very term. relational memory. So I tend to resort to, like, metaphors and examples very often when I try and talk about things. Okay, so let's check... See, we picked up this. Black rock prisms, unique formation of black rock, shape and potency, density of black rock dampens, paranatural forces, unique uh, for analyzed potency. Alright, that is not useful. Ah. 
Hello? Hello? Oh! Did my game crash? Yeah! Yeah, just... Just fucking died! <laughs> <laughs> we are too close to the answers. They had to shut us down. Um, well, alright. Let me open it back up, I guess? I'm gonna run an early ad while we spin back up, because it seems like the least intrusive way. Yeah, I guess, I guess those cards were just too computationally intense. I mean, it's not like this is, um, Akron. Um, so Akron was a 4D RTS game. It had time as a component. Um, a lot of processing power went into the time component because you could set, like, you could send units back in time and, like, destroy an enemy factory and then that could propagate to the present. And then all the units produced by that factory would, like, stop existing. Um, well, that's kind of annoying. I feel like... You have to redo all this. No, we didn't get that dialogue. Okay, I think it. I think it saved with the cards. No, no, it didn't. I gotta go pick up the cards again. God damn it! Probably saved at that cutscene. What? Major targets. Go to. Pneumatics. Or I could not and continue on with the main quest, whatever this is. If the cards crash it again, um. I don't know. I don't know, mate. I don't know what to think. Alright, is that all five? Alright, so. We've got two options. The Umbrella Corp, looking ass. Okay, so I think this one goes here, which is four. Okay. Um... Wait a minute. Am I not understanding this? Charging variable. Um... Okay, so I can't go from the solid left to... Each punch card should correspond to a terminal. The Umbrella Corp, because it's a feedback loop. Thanks for stopping on by, Aurora. Take care. Um, hmm. So we have the tiny left to the solid center. These whiteboard drawings may be important. Yes, I understand. They are important. So let's start with um, one side to solid. So one. So one side, we'll go to 
solid. Okay, once we're solid... Um... Too strong leaks out. So where do we go from solid? Maybe where's that other whiteboard show? No, I don't see solid. I would like to not have to brute force this. That would be nice. So I have the full left and that. What do the symbols mean? So not full left. I feel like there's got to be one more. Let's just try this and this. Nope. Okay, then. Stick our cards back. Go back to the drawing board. Actually... Hmm... What do these whiteboards mean? No, I'm not too certain that is... them. Come on, Drecky. You beat Talos Principle. You should know puzzles. You got this. You can do this. I feel like there's got to be a fourth whiteboard that we're missing because, like, there's not a real good connection between all three that we do have. Oh, wait. This is four, not five. Hmm. Try different combinations. One of them has to work. What if I think positional? So, four is this. One is umbrella cord. Then two is left. Three is square. Left. Three is square. Leaving four as... Hold on. What do I have left? Le full left is left. So we can't have the right. We can't have umbrella core. I feel like this is the only thing we can put for five. By process of elimination. Come on, give me a bone here. Give me a bone. So we can't have umbrella in the far right. We can't have those in the first two or in two, three. Two is left. Three is Q. Just like I have here. Q 
cannot have Hmm. Snakes just a spine with a lot of ribs. Yes. They have a lot of ribs. And they just wig and then they wiggle 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 wiggle. And then they wiggle. Wiggle 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 wiggle. Let's look at it. We've got one, two, three, four, five. So one as that, two as left. Yeah, because I mean, ribs are like a um, protective thing. And you want to make sure you keep all your internal organs internal. Um, when your internal organs become external organs, you tend to have problems. Can I put... Can't put it at two, three. It says no. Okay, you know what? I'm going to reverse this pattern. Oh, I I am slowly going to build up a snake plushie pile. There is, there was a reptile convention that had some great ones. There was one that I'm really sad, it was only a display piece, they weren't selling it. But it was like a 15 foot long and like 4 inch thick like Burmese python um, plushie. And oh my god, it was adorable. I could have laid it all over the place. Um, it would have been fantastic. Or is it saying those two are interchangeable? I didn't try that. Fuck. I cannot have solid wall into that. Hold on. Maybe maybe that's it. So umbrella court, and then for two we will do cube and left. Three is left. Four will be full left. leaving the remainder for number five, which is, of course, alive. Number five is alive. Okay. Another thing I can think of is to reverse the pattern. Instead of reading it left to right, read it right to left. I'm gonna be real annoyed if the solution is staring right at my face. Okay, so starting from the yeah, so left, so five is will be umbrella in this case. Four will be left. Two 
two is going to be that thing. Top and left. Or top and right. Three will still be um, Q. Which leaves one as the left. <clears throat> okay, dude. Regather my cards, and then I'm going to check my notes to see if I'm missing something. Don't think I am, though, because the fucking notes didn't say anything explicit. Oop, oh, wrong button. Nope. Um, mission. Old Boys Club. Alright. Let's just check real quick. Do 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 do. That's what I had there. Oh well. Rainbow Corp. You. Slight left. Are you fucking You know game sometimes sometimes I really hate you I don't I don't understand I swear I did that but I guess not Yay, we destroyed it? Also, what's that fucking gun Marshall Listen, has? Shannon. Darling's prototypes have a lot of issues. We need a new plan. Is that like a fucking grenade launcher? But it has... What the fuck is this gun? Like, the bullets being fed into it doesn't need a barrel that big. I don't... I don't understand. That's so weird. Oh, I have to re-talk to her. We need more black rock prisms to make this machine work. Darling has another lab down in the black rock processing site and maintenance. That must be where he keeps the prisms. I've been to maintenance already. Yeah, like I know there's a um a, a circular magazine like that on a weapon, simple. but the barrel is now. much more Before smaller. I, I need something from you for like first. a machine gun. But that's like a giant barrel like it's a cannon. I knew this was coming. Lives are at stake here, and we need this machine working to save those lives. Once that is done, Director Faden, then we can talk. She's right. As much as I don't want to admit it, I'm the only one who can help. So tell Dylan, me what you know, what you I'll really, really know. First. Dylan will have to wait just a little longer. I want to I want to But don't call me Director. I want to know about my brother. Jesse is fine. I'll call you Fate. Here, you'll need this key card. Thanks. Emily Pope has set up a base in Executive. Hell yeah, leveled up Once our I clearance. Prism, I'll meet you there. Right. I'll move out immediately. And keep an eye out for Darling. Finding him might be the key to stopping the hiss. 
It's just one large scale HRA. It's there now. We are about to be exposed to a different kind of resonance. Hostile, viral, invasive resonance. Sounds like uh, Dr. Darling is not in a good place right now. That's what the Hedron resonance amplifiers are for. Taking the protection Hedron can provide us and keeping us from being wiped out. All right. Ah, yes, the floaty cube mines in space. Cool. Here, this will lead back to central research. Oh, a secret passcode. He just kind of rubs the wall. All right, cool. Great, great animation, guys. Don't you film me without my consent? Don't you play music without my consent? That was just, that was just Donald Bart. Y'all need to stop floating. Alright, so we need to go to... What is it? Maintenance? Central maintenance? Wrong button. I don't... I want to go through my maps. Why do you not let me go through maps? Look, you gotta you gotta double tap. You gotta make sure they're actually dead, especially when weird stuff is happening like this. You gotta double tap. <laughs> yeah, my my first instinct. You gotta destroy all evidence of me being recorded, and then we shoot the dead bodies to make sure they stay dead. <laughs> Let's see. Marshall knows something about Dylan. Is he here? Is he all right? HRAs first. They'll help save everyone, including. So it looks Dylan. like I need to go left. Once I find him, can you keep him safe? It's the uh, backlight telephone. Me? So in um, last time, um, our major thing was getting to a telephone, and that let us talk to the board. Which, as far as we know so far, the board seems to be a multi-dimensional entity that can speak to us through the telephone. And, um, they're helping us? Giving us the powers? Not 100% clear on this. But they appear to be a giant inverted prism, so, you know... They got that going for them. Ow, it was very bright. Hiya! Whoa, that was a nice chain reaction. Interesting. All right, let's get our loot. Hopefully we find a control point soon so I can spend my ability points. That sound effect sounded like the combine sound effect from Top Life 2.
What if I put the power thing in one way over there? This seems very hazardous. Hmm. Rock sun, won't you come? Wash away the something, something. All right, I think I need another cube. So let's just break my ankle real quick and fall again, apparently. I do not have the time or information to figure any of that shit out. What is it? Is it Black Rock one of those, the... It's Black something. That private military group that ch one of those chuckle fuck McGee's has. Black something. I don't know. I actively try not to um, let those kinds of people take up space rent free in my mind. If they want to take up space in my mind, they gotta fucking pay rent. Because they can afford to pay rent. Those are the only people I will I will say are should be charged rent for existing. Alright, so we're gonna click that three times. Oh, I think this is going to give us another room in the motel. So another alternate fast travel. Interesting. Um, huh. Yeah, usually if I'm if I'm trying to stay anything plugged in, I usually go to like span because yeah it's fucking dry as shit but it's like the most raw all right I feel like I'm not understanding welcome to Montana why is this door open Uh, oh, this opened. Um, fixing this up. Something happened. Oh, we got some keys. Oh, did we get keys to Blackrock? I feel like sometimes these puzzles can be a little too obtuse for my taste. Oh, rule of three. That's right. Alright, now we have a kind of... Uh, Yeah, like my my only ingestion of, of British politics is from a uh, I don't know if they're a podcast. They do occasional YouTube videos. Um, I 
shit. What was it? I was literally listening to one of their episodes the other day. Hold on. This is going to drive me nuts. Just because I love... Trash Future. That's what it was. Mostly because it's like one part British politics, one part dunking on stupid, shitty tech startups. Um, so it is, it is fantastic. Okay, continue towards Black Rock Processing. Um, okay? Question mark? Oh, right. The, the stone door majiggers. I kind of want to run off the edge to die, but I don't know if how long it would set me back save-wise, so I'm going to refrain from yeeting myself into the void. <laughs> okay, we need to find a way to Black Rock Processing. That's where Marshall said we'd find a prism. I wonder if Black Mesa is connected to Black Rock. That would certainly explain all this weirdness and the dimension shenanigans. Then again, Black Mesa kind of stopped existing because of their whole experiments. Certainly hope that Valve makes um, another Half-Life game. You know, they did Half-Life Alex. They certainly set themselves up to continue with something, but... They tend to only actually make games when um, they have a reason to show something off. Wasn't the Black Mesa game like one of the Half-Life 1, like, like there was, you know, you had your Half-Life 1, and then there was like Blue Mesa, which was from the perspective of, I want to say Barney, and then they had like a couple other kind of things like that, of like the same game setting time, but like from different people's perspectives. Damn, he has got some tails! But now it's zero. <laughs> yeah, opposing force rings a bell. But like, we didn't get Half-Life 2 until, um... Valve wanted to do something with their source engine. Launch large objects. Hell yeah. Okay. Um, what's this? Astral Contracts? I mean, sure, I'll build a new thing. I have the money. I did not. I have not, so like, I never actually played all the way through Half-Life 1, to be honest. Um, I only got part of the way through it. Uh, I didn't liquidate. Um, 
something like it's just By the time I got into the game or found the game, it just wasn't up to, it just wasn't to my taste. It wasn't until like Half-Life 2 that I was able to really get into things. So I definitely played Half-Life 2 and then Episode 1 and 2. I played Half-Life Alex a very long time ago kind of want to do a replay of that, actually. Uh, so right now I have projectile spread. It could increase headshot damage. Or the number of projectiles fired. Well, number of projectiles, maybe? Let's just leave that. Um, can I like liquidate? Yeah, I need to. Yeah, I'm just gonna deconstruct all of these because it said I had 24 out of 24, so I assume I need I have a limit. I'm just gonna. Whoop. Yeah. These are all low tier things anyway. I kind of wish there was a way to nuke multiples. Let's go ahead and nuke everything just because I'm lazy. I presume I'm going to pick up new stuff that's higher tier anyway, now that I'm a little bit further into the game. Let's check out that um, Pierce, though, real quick. Oh. Oh, that's nice. 